back everybody very quick video for you we are in the middle of a very large earthquake swarm in the mid-atlantic ridge this thing started off with a 6-1 which was downgraded to a 6.0 we could see that initial earthquake right here the northern mid-atlantic ridge coming in at 710 utc there is an overall depth of 10 kilometers a lot of times that is a default depth for earthquakes that take place way out in the ocean now a 6.0 in this area is very strong we could see here on volcano discovery we have those pancaked earthquakes we have here that's why we're calling this a swarm many many earthquakes Earthquakes taking place in a short period of time right on the fault line. This is wild. We can see that set of steps right here, kind of like the Juan de Fuca fracture zone over on the west coast. But this is the Atlantic, the other side of the United States. And once again, here is that biggest of the quakes that have been taking place. Also reading a 6.0, a very strong quake. Now, if we were to hit that 7 range, and I know that's not what happened here, but that's the strength you need to really be dealing with the possibility of a tsunami. And we got to remember, the Atlantic Ocean and all its fault lines are just as dangerous as the Pacific Ocean and all its fault line. At any moment, just like we saw today, a very strong earthquake could take place, and if it was any much stronger, we may be talking about an entirely different situation right now. Obviously, because this was out in the ocean, I'm sure not many people felt it, but it's important to understand when these things happen and to keep an eye on them. We should see a slowing down of the strength of the earthquakes here, but anytime you see a 6.0 anywhere near the Atlantic Ocean, it is cause for concern. I want to leave you with this very interesting website I found while researching this, and this website talks about a lost civilization of some sort and if you get way down to the bottom of this page you see this image right here that shows the mid-atlantic ridge and then you see this star here with lost city next to it and then it says right here there's a lost city deep in the ocean and it's unlike anything we've ever seen now i don't know if they're talking about an actual lost city i still have to do more research but this star right here if we line it up all the way to the coast of florida and then we look at the usgs and see where this is lined up it's pretty wild because these earthquakes are taking place in the exact area as you can see here along the mid-atlantic ridge as this star is. So make with that what you will. I'll leave this website linked in the video description box for you. There's another chart showing that all the ridges and fault lines are connected in one way or another. And then finally, it shows just the way they believe the continents had broken apart way back millions of years ago. All right, my friends, like I said, very quick video. I hope you're all having a good evening. I'll see you all in the next one. Shout out to Canada. Take care. Bye bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.